Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While QuickBooks Online Plus doesn't have a native mileage tracker, you can still reimburse employees for mileage and bill clients for mileage. To do this, you will need to create both a mileage income and mileage expense account, as well as create a mileage product service. Creating the product or service item will allow you to enter the standard mileage rate for billing to customers and reimbursing to employees, as well as associate the amounts with the income and expense accounts you create. This saves you time later on when you are creating invoices to collect mileage from customers and entering bills to reimburse the employees as the information will be automatically entered. The first step is to create a new income and expense account for mileage. Click the gear icon and select the chart of accounts link from the settings heading. You can click the new button to open the account creation menu. To create the mileage expense account, use the category type drop down to choose expenses. In the detail type display box, choose auto to signify this account is associated with an automobile. Enter a name into the name field, for example, auto mileage. You can also enter an account number in the number field and a description of the account in the description field. These are completely optional entries. The final option is to set this account as a sub-account if necessary. When you've completed your entries, click the Save and Close button to save your work and close the menu. Then click the New button once again to create a new mileage income account. You can select the regular income account from the category type and then select service or fee income from the detail type if you regularly bill clients for mileage. If you only occasionally bill for mileage, you may be able to select other income from the category type drop-down and then select other miscellaneous income from the detail type list. After categorizing the income account, enter a name for the account into the name field and complete the rest of the account fields as needed. Then click the Save and Close button to save the account and close the window. Now you need to create a new product or service for mileage. Click the gear icon and select the Products and Services link from the Lists heading. On the Products and Services page, click the New button to open the Product or Service Information menu. The first step will be to choose a name for the product or service, for example, mileage. Check both the I sell this product or service to my customers and the I purchase this product or service from a vendor check boxes under the Sales Information and Purchasing Information sections. You can fill out the description on sales forms and the description on purchase forms as needed. Enter the standard mileage rate into the price or rate as well as the cost fields. For example, 0.575 for 0.575 cents reimbursement per mile. The final option is to select the mileage income account you just created from the income account drop-down and the mileage expense account you just created from the expense account drop-down. Then click Save and Close to save your work and close the menu. To bill a customer for mileage, simply add the mileage line item to the customer's next invoice. Then enter the total miles to bill into the quantity column for that line item. It will multiply the miles entered by the standard mileage rate to create the total billable mileage amount. Note that if you reimburse your employees for the mileage first, before creating the invoice, you can actually enter the mileage as billable when cutting the check to the employee and associate it with the specific customer at that time. Later on, when creating the invoice, you can simply add the mileage you paid to the employee to the customer's next invoice as a billable expense that shows up at the right side of the invoice. To reimburse employees for mileage, you can either enter the mileage into a check to the employee in the Write Checks window, or you can enter the amounts into the Enter Bills window. Note that if you want to enter the amounts into the Enter Bills window, you would first need to add a record for the employee into your vendors list, as QuickBooks Online Plus only allows vendors to be selected when creating bills. If you do this, you may want to enter the employee's name with mileage after it within the company field name when creating the new vendor record, for example, John Doe-Mileage. If you choose to enter the mileage reimbursement as a check, simply click the Create icon and select the Check command. Choose the name of the employee to reimburse from the drop-down in the upper left corner. If you will be saving the check so that you can enter mileage reimbursements for multiple days, you can check the Print Later checkbox. Then, in the Item Details section, select the Mileage Item from the Product or Service column. Then enter the number of miles into the Quantity column. If you have not yet billed the customer for the miles, note that here is where you can check the billable checkbox for the line item and then select the name of the customer to bill from the Customer drop-down. 
If saving the check to print later, after adding more mileage line items, you can choose one of the save options at the bottom of the window. If you're printing the check now, simply click the print check link at the bottom of the window instead. Alternatively, to enter reimbursement mileage as bills, you can click the create icon and then select the bill command from the vendor heading. Choose the name of the employee that you created as a vendor from the Choose a Vendor drop-down list. In the Item Details list, choose the mileage, product, or service item you created from the Product or Service column and enter the number of miles into the Quantity column. Just as when using the check method, if you have not yet billed the customer for the miles, you can check the billable checkbox for the line item and select the name of the customer to bill from the customer drop-down. When you have completed your entries, choose the Save Option button to save your work and close the page. When you are ready to write a check for the reimbursable mileage you have entered into the bills window, you can simply click the Vendors link in the navigation bar. From the Vendors list page, find the employee that you entered as a vendor and then click the Make Payment link in the Action column to open the Bill Payment page. Select the correct bill or bills that you entered and process the check to the employee as you normally would. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.